Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. I really like creative lighting and IKEA started making all kinds of weird uh, lamps and lanterns and this is one of them and I'll be modifying it today. Initially I thought about buying a bunch of these light-up heads, maybe five or six, and then have them well mounted here in the workshop behind me uh, to serve as stands for my welding hood, for my face shield and other protective equipment, but it's not as simple as that. You see, the way you turn them on and off and adjust the color is through the single button here at the back of the head and that's just too fiddly if you have a bunch of them and you want them in sync. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add a Wi-Fi chip to one of these to make it smartphone and smart home compatible. Under the hood all this really is is just a bunch of RGB LEDs with a controller board uh, and that's the controller board that we're going to be swapping out for this uh, Wi-Fi RGB controller. It's totally off the shelf, it has a little QR code for an app so you could control it with your phone and since it can control RGB LEDs in a strip form, it can also control RGB LEDs in head form. I think you see where this is going. So I already did one of these before and they actually disassemble fairly easy. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. This is the LED part. Um, you can see the wires running from the controller board to the LEDs. We don't really need to undo these uh, screws. Um, we want to get at this part here. And it slides out. Okay. Now you see the little controller board um, with the button. <laughs> There's four wires coming from the controller board to the LEDs because it's RGB. We have one positive and then one for red, green and blue. It's pretty much exactly the same thing here. We have a power connector for the Wi-Fi controller and then uh, four pins for different colors. Ta-da! I hope you can make out the labels on video, but if you can't, uh, well, then trust me that there's uh, positive and negative power supply connections on both boards and red, green, blue and positive on both output headers. Uh, this part here is the Wi-Fi antenna and then you can clearly see that the original IKEA one is missing it. Since everything is labeled, I'll just desolder the components from the throwaway board and then resolder them on the Wi-Fi one. Basically what I'm doing is just applying some heat to the solder and then pulling off the wires off the circuit board. Mm -hmm. And the same for the Wi-Fi one. Now let's re-add the wires. If your controller doesn't have labels on the circuit board itself, uh, you can refer to the casing it came in. See? Green, red, blue. Okay, so even though it's not my cleanest work, I think I soldered everything correctly and according to the labels. So let's try to power it on. Uh, There you go, green. Now let's try all the different colors. I already had the controller added to the app because I use it for something else, but um, the true test now is different colors. So blue is blue and then red is red. Okay, so see the thing is, if I were to mix up any pins, then when the color selector would be pointing at blue and if it's where it was red, then obviously I would have had to flip the uh, pins on the circuit board to make the app make sense again. Uh, but I think I got it right. So green is green, red is red, and blue is blue. Since there's not gonna be a physical button anymore behind this guy, I'm gonna find a scrap piece of foam to push against it so it wouldn't rattle around. Slides in. like this <laughs> and it still works <laughs> if you can't find the same exact controller that I use today um, or you want to swap it out to a Bluetooth one instead of Wi-Fi or something um, just make sure that the one you pick can support 24 volts because these guys are powered by 24 volt power supply so yeah just something to keep in mind uh, the reason why I went with Wi-Fi myself is because of smart home integration here at home, I run OpenHab, which is a kind of a home automation system. Um, I have all my lights added to it and all kinds of different sensors throughout the house. And I just wanted to have these guys on it too. It's not within the scope of this video, but let me know if you would like to learn a bit about home automation in future videos. Maybe it's a topic worth exploring. 
That being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mm. <laughs>